This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. The meat industry is doing a great job of keeping things as safe as possible. They're working very hard to make sure that you know the products that consumers are buying is you know as, as safe as possible. The beef in the United States is safe, regardless whether we're talking about conventionally raised product, whether we're talking about organic or natural. Um, all beef is safe because it's all inspected by the USDA. All of the standards that go into effect for traditional uh, conventionally raised product are also applied to any other form of production system as well. Before the hides are removed, they do everything they can to remove uh, through a hot water bath as much of the contamination on the outside of the hide as possible. Throughout the entire process, once the hide is removed, the carcasses go through another hot water bath cabinet in which they spray 180 degree water on the outside of the, the carcass in order to hopefully kill as many bacteria that may potentially be contaminated on there as possible. And then all the way through to the processing side, many times before that carcass is ever fabricated or even when uh, the subprimal meat goes into packages or ground product does, it's typically sprayed with some other form of antibacterial, whether we're talking about citric acid or lactic acid. So another hurdle, if you will, in the process to prevent any form of contamination from making it all the way to the consumer. Potentially ground beef could have some microbial contaminants. There, you know, animals are grown in an environment where there's potential contaminants. They, they're grown outside. And so um, those contaminants can potentially get into the, to the meat eventually. Um, there can be things like salmonella, there could be E. coli, there could be um, Campylobacter, other, other microbial contaminants that are quite common in, in our food, that can happen in our food supply. If we look at intact steak products or roast products, the inside of that muscle where it's never been exposed to the outer air surface is sterile. Uh, that's why we can safely cook and prepare steak and roast meats to a rare degree of doneness because the inside of that meat was never contaminated or never even had the potential to be contaminated uh, with any form of pathogenic bacteria. Ground beef product, on the other hand, uh, is something that's highly a concern because the outside of that product, what was once the outside, is ground up into what is now the inside of the product. Because of that, uh, the outside is no safer than the inside, and so we have to make sure that we prepare those products accordingly uh, because of that. Any ground beef, pork, lamb, those should be cooked to 160 degrees. That temperature is safe to make sure that we know that you're killing off any bacteria that could be present. Definitely always use a, a thermometer to make sure that the temperature is, is correct. Unfortunately, color is not a really good indicator, in particular for ground meats, of if it's done or not. I tell people microorganisms don't care what color the meat is, they only care what temperature it's been cooked to. So make sure that that temperature is getting up to 160 degrees for ground meats. If it's ground turkey or ground chicken or any whole chicken or turkey products, you want to cook that to 165 degrees um, because there's certain microorganisms that tend to be more possible to be in those meats that you want to make sure you're getting to a higher temperature. If you're cooking a roast or a steak, intact products that haven't been tenderized, needle tenderized, um, those, can, those only need to be cooked to 145 degrees. From a, where contamination can occur, it can occur at any point in time from the time that animal's harvested all the way up until the time it goes onto the plate. A lot of time consumers don't take a lot of responsibility for mishandling raw, raw meat products in their own home. But if they undercook the product, or one of the biggest things is cross-contamination, using some of the same utensils or plates that they use with the raw product on cooked product, that's the number one location for cross-contamination that will does result in foodborne illness. You know, any sort of food product that you're eating could potentially have contaminants in it. That's why it's so important that you know, the whole way from the farm all the way to the consumer, that we're doing things as safely as possible, that we're making sure that we're all using safe handling practices. Here's another gardening tip with Annette Jackson from Jackson's Greenhouse. Fall is a great time to plant, and if you would like fresh fruit, grapes, or berries to eat next year, now is an ideal time to plant. We'll show you how, what, and where to plant for a successful crop of delicious, healthy fruit. We have a great selection and great service. Come, Come see, see us at Jackson's. Our entire stock of shrubs, roses, berries, perennials, and trees are now on sale at 25% off. Hurry out for your best selection. Jackson's Greenhouse has what you need today.